everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode, bell crickets are too noisy. Be quiet! Uh, you startled me, sis. Look, Maruko, do something about those bell crickets. It's too noisy. I just can't stand it. Mm, I can't stop them from making noise. Well, try. It's your fault that you went and got bell crickets last year, you clown. You shouldn't talk about last year, you know. The devil will laugh at you. That expression is meant for a new year. I mean, I didn't expect them to multiply so much and so fast. Who would have thought? When I got them last year, there were only ten of them in that tank. But as soon as spring came... Huh? <gasps> bell cricket babies are filling the tank so fast! <laughs> Oh, no, we'll be in such big trouble when they grow up and get bigger. Oh. And now they've gotten bigger, the noise is just... Whatever, I don't care. Just remove that tank from our room right now. Yeah. Please excuse me, I'll remove this tank. Forget about being polite and get it out of here. Boy, I'm in trouble. Where should I put this? Hey, Mom. Can you keep these bell crickets in the kitchen for me? No way! There's a huge pot in the kitchen filled with your bell crickets already. There's another one in the living room. Bell crickets are all over the house. You should keep that tank in your room. Listen, I would if I could. <sighs> the situation is crazy. I mean, how did they multiply so much? I gave 10 of them to Tama-chan, and 20 to Yamada, 15 to Toshiko-chan, and I gave 10 to Hamaji. I gave lots of crickets to each of them. <sighs> and the house is still rich with bell crickets. What kind of wealth is that? Grandpa, can I place the bell cricket tank in here? Huh? What? Your bell crickets? Thank goodness! I was looking around the house for a place to put them. I'm sorry to hear that you've had trouble. Look, Maruko, leave these bell crickets to your loving grandpa. I'm here for you. Uh, huh? I'm so relieved. I guess grandpa's the one person I can rely on. That night. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Listen to Mozo. Listen well. Repent of your sins! Hey! Repent of your sins! Hey! Good morning, uh -huh. Maruko. Uh, Grandpa. I've been hearing the chirping of those bell crickets all around me since last night. It never stops. Huh? There's a bell cricket on top of your head, Grandpa. Uh -huh. Oh, no, it must have gotten out of the tank. Maruko. I'm sorry, but could you move your bell crickets to another room in the house? Huh? I had an awful nightmare last night because of the chirping of the bell crickets. Repent of your sins! 
Maruko, you shouldn't trouble your grandpa like that. Ah? Oh, please don't scold Maruko. It's okay. I can't help it. I have to bring them to school with me. Who knows? They may like them at school. However... <laughs> oh, no. I didn't expect them to chirp during the whole lesson. Uh, who brought them? Huh? It was Sakura! <laughs> She brought so many of them. Yeah, it'd be all right if there were only a couple of them, but I bet there's at least 30 of them. Uh... <sighs> Maru-chan, I think you'd better take the bell crickets home with you today. Mm, I know you're right, Tama-chan. Uh, but I took the trouble to carry that here, and now I have to bring it home with me. Uh, what a waste. I mean, when I got them last year, it was perfectly fine and sounded nice. Bell crickets sound very nice. It's a soothing sound. Tama-chan, they may sound really nice now, but the ten bell crickets I gave you this year will explode into a hundred next year. I'm sorry. Hamaji, Toshiko-chan, Yamada. I'm sorry, you guys. I'll have to leave their future to you. Why did you bring those bell crickets back home? You took the trouble to bring them with you. Because they were too noisy at school, too. They were just too many. If there were only a few, we could have managed. Then why don't you go and release them someplace outside? Since we're on the subject, you were excited about keeping them as pets in the beginning, but you don't take care of them at all. So in the end, I'm looking after all the bell crickets for you. I'm tired of it. Oh, no. She's just getting started. Maruko, I tell you not to cause trouble for other people all the time. I mean, honestly, you can hardly look after yourself now. So how can you take care of pets? Look at this pile of garbage. This is the amount of garbage I collected from cleaning up your mess. Why don't you help out at home once in a while? Yeah! Come on, Mom, you get angry so easily. Just chill. Boogie, 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 boogie and swing a hip. Everyone is farting, everyone is farting. Boo, boo! If you dance like this, you feel light and all your stress goes away. Don't try and change the subject! <laughs> anyway, you should go out with your dad tonight to release all of these bell crickets. What? All of them? But I want to keep a couple of them. Do you know who's going to look after them if you do? That'd be me. Right, right, right. You'll be happy if I release them all, right? What's this now? I have to come with you to release those bell crickets tonight? Why don't you just go by yourself? I can't carry them alone. Besides, it's scary to go out alone at night. Just come with me. Fine, then. After I watch the baseball game, just wait till it's over. Huh? <sighs> Man. <sighs> oh, dreads, they were beaten. I can't uh, believe they lost the game. Oh, the ball game is over now? Then let's go. I've been waiting for you. What for? The bell crickets. You told me you would come with me to release them after the game. Rats, this is a real bother. I'm sorry. Hey, let's just release them around here. No, not on the pavement or street, okay, Dad? They should be in the bushes. It really won't make any difference. I'll feel sorry for the bell crickets if they're not released into the bushes. Okay, then I guess we should go to the park. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> we can't. Too many people. Well, it doesn't look like this is the right place to release the crickets. Yeah. Guess it can't be helped. Let's try the riverbank then. Oh. You know, Dad, I feel like we're wandering nomads who are traveling the desert in search of water. Yeah, I suppose so. We keep walking aimlessly over the sand dunes all day, all night. How about here, then? Oh. Go and live happily. Bye-bye. You two, <laughs> what are you doing here? Hmm? 
a police officer. At the same time in the house. Maruko and Dad are taking a long time. I wonder what they're doing out there. Oh, maybe they're being questioned by police officers right now. Oh, please, no way. Hiroshi must be saying, I'm not suspicious, sir, which surely makes him suspicious. That pair always looks suspicious, know what I mean? <laughs> Releasing bell crickets this late at night? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not anyone suspicious, am I, Maruko? Huh? No. Well, then, what are you doing out this late at night, and why do you have a small child with you out here? Uh, oh, oh, we're catching bell crickets, sir. My, my daughter needs them for a science project she's doing. Dad, why are you making things up? Do you think you'll get suspicious if you say we're releasing them? Oh, yeah? For your science project? You're working hard. Bell crickets. Uh, I found one! Yeah, I know you did, because we just released them over there. Here, I got it. I'm holding it in my hand. Now, quickly, give me the bag! There. Thank you, you're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's another one! I found one here, too! Obviously, the bell crickets that the policeman catches have to be brought back home. Maruka, he's pretty good at catching crickets. Impressive. Yeah. Looks like the Sakura family is having a hard time getting rid of these bell crickets. episode, Maruko leaves something behind. Huh? Uh-oh, we were supposed to bring the bus fee for the upcoming field trip to school today. Did you forget to bring it, Mara-chan? Mr. Tagawa reminded us three times yesterday. What should I do? Tama-chan, do you happen to have 580 yen with you today? Sorry, I don't. I hope someone has it on them, though. A rich person like that wouldn't be in this class, though. Uh, <gasps> Hanawa kun Please, I beg you. Uh -huh. Master Hanawa, Master Hanawa, please, I beg you. Please lend me some money. Give me money, Hanawa. But baby, stop it. Get up off your knees. Fujiki-kun, Yamada-kun, and Kasugi-kun came to me several minutes ago and asked me to lend them the field trip bus fee. So I lent them the money. Eh? Hey, Fujiki, Yamada, and Kasugi? All the irresponsible ones. To tell you the truth, I want you to lend me the bus fee, too. You as well? I'm sorry. I had 2,000 yen on me today, but all I have left on me now is 260 yen. <laughs> Hanawa-kun, will you lend me 10 yen? I just need to call my house. Uh, you mean you don't even have 10 yen? Here, 10 yen. You don't need to pay me back for that, Sakura. Thank you very much. I wonder what Hanawa couldn't think when he sees a classmate who doesn't have even 10 yen on her. I'm coming! Oh, Maruko, what's the matter? What? 580 yen for the bus fee? Did you forget it? Yeah, I forgot it this morning. I won't be able to go on the field trip without it. I'll be waiting at the school gate. Will you bring it here? Silly girl, why are you always like this? Huh? Hi there, Mom! Here, over here! Uh, here. <laughs> There's 580 yen in this envelope. You should try not to forget to bring things. <laughs> I know, but I'm happy to see you during school hours like this. I've missed you, Mom. All right. This isn't the time to talk. Okay, I'm going now. No, I feel lonely. Please stay a bit longer with me. Don't be ridiculous. I'm leaving. See you. Thank you so much, Mom! Mom, <sighs> I'm glad. Now I can go on the field trip. Hey, Hamaji Boo! Huh? You forgot to bring the bus fee, didn't you? What are you gonna do, Boo? Oh, well, let me tell you. I consulted with Mr. Togawa several minutes ago and he lent me the money. So he saved me. Huh? He lent me the money. He lent me the money. Why did I go through all that he trouble just now? Money. Oh my, I'm tired of Maruko's forgetfulness. She should have prepared the bus fee and given it in many days ago. <sighs> I had to run to school to bring 580 yen. Boy, am I tired from running. I'm so exhausted. Sorry, sorry. You're an irresponsible person. Don't cause trouble for your parents. You see, Hamaji forgot to bring his bus fee, but he consulted with Mr. Togawa and he borrowed money from our teacher. 
Our teacher is very kind. I think I'm going to consult with Mr. Togawa first from now on when I forget stuff. Instead of that, why don't you think about being more careful next time? How irresponsible. Sis is very independent. More like Mariko's, just too silly. She doesn't reflect on herself. She relies on other people all the time. That's all right. I don't care if I'm silly and simple. Right, Daddy? <sighs> well, for me, I do care. I'll be silly all my life. Like they say, there's no cure for silliness. In fact, I may have no other choice but to live happily as a silly person. The next day. Hey, gym clothes? I don't have them with me. Do we have PE class today, Tama-chan? No, we don't have PE class, but we do have that practice for the athletic festival. Ono-kun and Sugiyama-kun are going to instruct us. Oh no, I totally forgot about it. What should we do? If you tell them you forgot to bring gym clothes, Ono-kun and Sugiyama-kun will be mad at you. Huh? Hey, Sakura! Uh, what should I do? Even if I consult with Mr. Togawa, I don't think he has extra gym clothes for a kid. I guess I am irresponsible. Oh, a phone call. Hello, Sakura residents. Oh, Maruko, dear, what's the matter? Oh, Grandpa, I have a big problem. Mm. I have practice for an athletic festival, but I forgot to bring gym clothes. Will you please bring mm. them to school for me now? All right, leave it to me. Grandpa's coming right away. I'll be 15 minutes. And Grandpa, thank you. Please stay healthy and eat well. And please stay close to me forever and ever. Yes, I will. I'll stay healthy and live a long time. Uh, Grandpa, who are you talking to? Uh, I wonder how many more years I can live for you. Uh -huh. Oh, my. Who are you talking to, Grandpa? Maruko! Maruko, I'm here! Huh? Grandpa! Jumpa! Speed! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm happy to see you too, Maruko. I owe it to the fact that I forgot to bring something. Yes, that's very true indeed. Always, Always turn, turn misfortune, misfortune into fortune. A, a proverb of the mind by, by us too. See you later, Maruko. Work hard and practice well for the athletic festival. Grandpa. Grandpa, thank you. Take care on your way home. After school, Listen, guys, today's practice is canceled due to the rain. So we'll do it tomorrow instead. Bring your gym clothes, okay? Uh, Come on. Let's go. Mm. Guess I should have asked Grandpa to bring an umbrella to school for me instead. He didn't know it rained. Let's go home together. <laughs> so Maruko forgot to take something to school again. Again? But thanks to my forgetting, I was able to see Grandpa at school. So you see, it isn't so bad to leave something behind. That's right, it was great. I'll bring everything that Maruko leaves behind to school. So, my dear, you can keep leaving things behind for me. <sighs> I'm so glad. It's so relaxing to know I can leave things behind from now on. You clown! It's all right. Anyway, it's fun for me to go to school to see Maruko, Hiroshi. Still, Grandpa, you shouldn't urge Maruko to forget to bring something to school. That's right, Maruko. You should learn to be more independent. That's right! Forgetting to bring something two days in a row means that you're being sloppy. You should learn to lead your life better. Maruko, it's fine for you to be carefree, dear, but it's not good if you forget to bring things. Sis, what are you doing? I'm preparing for tomorrow. Why don't you prepare, too? Oh, it's fine to forget something. I told you earlier, right? Grandpa will just bring it to school for me. So I will just rely on Grandpa till I become a grown-up. It's such an easy life. You clown! <laughs> you are just impossible! Maruko, our Grandpa doesn't live to bring things to school for you when you forget stuff. Besides, there are days he isn't home because he's gone on a trip with his friends. And honestly, really, till you become a grown-up? Come on, you won't be able to rely on him forever. Huh? <laughs> I don't want that. I will rely on Grandpa till I become a grown-up, okay? Even after I get married, I will keep relying on Grandpa to bring me things. <sighs> the next day. So 
Well, you know what? Grandpa said last night that he would bring whatever things I left at home to school for me. Really? I envy you. That's a great help. You want your grandpa to stay healthy for a long time. He's definitely your best ally. He always helps you out, right? Yeah, that's true. I cried all last night about my wonderful grandpa. What? Why did you have to cry about your grandpa? Grandpa, I mean, I just wondered if he would stay healthy and happy until I grow up. I've been trying not to think very hard about that. But whenever I do, I can't help but shed tears. If possible, I want him to continue bringing me the things I forget at home until I die. Are you planning on making him work that hard till he dies? Anyway, I feel all right because I know Grandpa will be with me for a while yet. But if you become too dependent and you develop a habit of leaving things behind, your Grandpa will be in trouble. Oh, it's fine if it becomes a habit. Grandpa was saying that he wants to come to school every day. He'd be happy. Huh? He wants to come here every day? In that case, your Grandpa should have been a school teacher or something. Everyone, attention, please. Please be quiet. Everyone, please listen for a second. Please pay attention to me. Please be quiet for a minute. Just be quiet, guys. Huh? Hey, look at Maeda. Why is she crying up there? Huh? I wonder what happened. Maeda, son, do you need to make an announcement to everyone? Your urine needs to be collected for the urine analysis. Everyone, please turn in the urine you brought to school, okay? Oh, no! I've forgotten about the urine analysis. Oh, Maru-chan, I can tell by your look that you forgot to bring your urine to school. Huh, it's okay. I'll just go to the bathroom to get my urine right now. Sakura-san. Uh -huh. It's no use to go collect your urine right now, you know. Huh? The urine needed for the urine analysis test should be the first one in the morning. I told you that yesterday. Maruko learned at this moment that there were some things that no one could bring for her, and there was nothing in the world she could do about it when that happened. A hard lesson indeed. <laughs>